Um, I mean, what was it like working alongside Millie Bobby Brown? Because we know her from Stranger Things and mm. she's taken on all these amazing... It's been lovely to see her grow as an actress, hasn't it? What was it like working alongside her? It's fascinating to watch somebody from that generation. The confidence and strength that these young girls have and young boys, I was just like very impressed with her acting skills and look at what she's accomplished. Yeah. She's what, 20 years old? She's a powerhouse. Well, you know, the role couldn't be been suited to more two powerful women. Mm. Millie and yourself, <laughs> you've taken on some incredible roles over the years. Absolutely. I was just wondering, because, of course, you were in Princess Bride at 21, so there was a lot of similarities between the two of you. Um, were you helping her through it, or is she pretty self-sufficient? I, I think she's got it in the can. Yeah. And, and I, I, I was thinking back to Princess Bride. You had an English accent then, did you? Can you I did, I did, yes. Can you still do the English accent now? You know, my stepfather, who I grew up with, is British. So he made sure I had this accent down <laughs> before I went to make that movie. OK, and, and I was wondering, could you do... Have you heard Josie's accent? Where oh, are you the, from? I was going to ask you. Do you know what? Um, every American person that I meet always thinks I'm a pirate. Do, <laughs> do I sound like a pirate to you? Well, you sound... Irish. Do I sound Irish? I've always wanted to be Irish. Where no, are I'm, you? I'm from I'm from Bristol. Oh. So we're like the southwest of the country. Okay. Yeah. Does does my accent sound funny to you? Well, it's 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 definitely not American. <laughs> <laughs> that is it's different. Correct. It's, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a Bristolian accent? Oh, I want I want this accent. Do it's you? The best. Right. So all I'd say is go. I like your socks. I like your socks. Oh, oh there you go. Bad. You yeah. got it. You I like got your it. Socks. What are you though? You're... I like your socks. Uh, well, I'm a mix. I was born in Manchester, but I've been in London since I was 18, so I'm sort of a mix okay. of the two. So I still have, in terms of accent, I, the, the key for me is I say bath and grass, not bath and grass. Ooh. And that's sort of, you know I'm from the north because I'm bath and grass. That's a huge yeah. difference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible at accents. I can only do Bristolian. But, Robin, I mean, with your career, you, you started off in The Princess Bride. You played Princess Buttercup, 1987. And then you had a massive blockbuster with Forrest Gump. You played Jenny. So, because you've had the, that early start in your career, you've had two major, major successes. How did that go on, then, to be choosing, um, like, roles? Were you very selective after that? Because you've had two major blockbuster movies. Well, that's sheer luck. No. And I feel very blessed. Talent. Well, to, you don't know what the films are going to be when you're shooting them. You have no idea what the response is going to be like, or its success or non-success. And you do feel blessed to have been a participant in two very iconic films. And they're both great. Forrest, right? uh, Forrest Gump, I mean, it's a peculiar film. In, it in, is. In a nice way. And I think... I suspect when you were working on it, it must have felt quite random whether this was going to just flop on its backside or, or going to be a big hit. Were you, or did you all think it was going to work at the time? We had no idea. Um, I have some kind what of you felt shooting it, and I do also feel that that's what you feel when you look at this film, even today, is that it's sentimental without being cheesy. Yeah. Um, we can't have you here, Robin, without talking about House of Cards. I mean, it was just the, the most amazing political thriller. I was, it's a proper binge-worthy series. Um, after, you know, being on a political thriller like that, do you, would you ever go into politics? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no way. But you were so good at playing that role. <laughs> oh, you know, it, pe people would say, who did you get advice from? I didn't get advice from anybody. All you have to do is watch the news, right? Yeah. Did you base your character on anyone? No, it was interesting. Um, David Fincher, who created the look of the show, the tone, everything, he just said, I, I don't think you need to emulate anybody in particular. Um, what I believe Claire Underwood is, is what he said, is that she's a bust. Like when you walk into the Capitol and you see all these marble busts of you know, commanding figures. He said, you are the bust. Meaning, to me as an actor, I don't need to move very much. So she was very stoic and stayed 
and that's why the costumes were the way they were. I mean, it, it's, it's it helped Lady me Mac so much. Lady Macbeth almost, wasn't it? L literally, But it also, yeah. I mean, it was, it was almost a, an icon of clothing because the clothing went in with that sort of... The, exactly. ..the statue, that solidity. I mean, did, did you choose the clothes yourselves or is that all done for you? Well, we had incredible costume designers and then eventually it became too overwhelming for them to design for every character in the show. And then Claire Underwood had her own, and it was Kamal Harris. She was unbelievable. So every season, Claire Underwood had a theme. So either we would put gold buttons here that kind of look like epaulettes, you know, weren't yeah. quite sure, because she was in her general. general phase, you know, things like that. And you got to direct some of House of Cards as well. I did. I got to direct, I think, 10 episodes. Nice. And it was like going to free cinema school. Have you got a taste for it now? I love it. I've yeah. got the bug. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> and what can we expect next from you? Um, I'm currently doing a, an Amazon show in England. So it's a British cast, except I'm American in it. And I'm acting and directing and producing. Are, are you, um, I heard that you're meeting up with all the old Forrest Gump guys. Yeah, we just worked again together. Uh, what, what are you doing? Tom and I did, um, it's a movie called Here. And I think it'll come out this year in the fall. So you and Tom Hanks Tom are back. and I, we, the whole band got back together. Oh. Robert Zemeckis directed it. Eric Roth, who wrote Forrest Gump, wrote it. Yeah, it was incredible. 30 years later, was reuniting. It, it was like no time had passed. I was passed. about to ask, oh. it was like those, when you see your friends you haven't seen for years and with two minutes in, you've forgotten that you haven't seen each other. Yeah, there was uh, nothing. There was nothing awkward about it. Well, that sounds very oh. interesting. Yeah, it was Can we great. ask what it's about? Are we allowed to ask? <gasps> I'm gonna just give you one little, it's never been done before. I'll just, the way it's shot. So that's its original content. But it's called here because everything happens over all periods of time in life here. That's all it's it. It's sci-fi then? No. All oh, right. Oh, God, you're so good yeah, at keeping it's, secrets. It's single different. Location it's very over different. Lots of, over lots of oh. us. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for that. Thank you, Robin. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.